This is the U-Glider. I got it from Banggood as a PNP kit. I did some modifications uh, to improve it. Um, I'll go through them one by one. So maybe some other people can um, find um, IDs to improve their own uh, version. So I wanted to do um, a light build without going into extremes. Uh, I wanted a clean build. And also I wanted to avoid to um, cut it to the, the foam of the glider uh, because that would uh, weaken it. So I kept, I kept the um, original stock motor, which is a 20 millimeter uh, outside diameter a brushless engine. Um, some people have problems to source it, so I also, also um, put a link below where you can find it. I uh, replaced the original prop, which is completely plastic with um, an, um, an, um, an aluminium nose cone and um, a quality, um, quality prop. Um, I'll put in the, in the, the link below uh, where you can source them. I didn't want to take the risk with the, the plastic one um, because it's, it's really light, light. It will probably do the job, but it's it's really light and, and, and flimsy plastic. So I used the I replaced the prop with the Grauner Grauner prop, which is uh, six by three inches, and the power consumption increased from six amps with the original prop to six point eight amps with uh, the new one. And also the weight increase is about uh, eight gram with. Uh, the new setup. I didn't like the original uh, push-pull um, linkage for a rudder and elevator so I replaced it by servos which I um, I have installed inside the wing. One is here for the rudder. A servo for the elevator is, install is also installed in the wing here on the other side. And all um, wirings are running through um, the tail boom. I, uh, I run them inside because I wanted a, a clean build. If you want to run the several wires inside the tail boom, then you have to, to buy the, the, the smallest one you can find. You can see here, this is, this is standard. This is really a small wire. I'll uh, put in a link below where I sourced it. So that if you want to do that, don't don't try it with uh, regular wires because they will not fit. Uh, boat servos for the wings are also installed in the wings, and I use the same thin wire to go through the uh, to do the receiver. Installing in uh, a servo in each wing increases the weight a bit, but makes the glider much more versatile. So you can use all sides, all types of options. You can use brakes, you can reuse reflex, or um, for thermaling you can. Uh, put the flaps a little bit down, so it's, it will probably increase the, the, the improve the possibilities from the glider. Here you can see the original ESC. Unfor unfortunately, the version that I got with my uh, glider was impossible to program. I, I tried to contact the company who builds the glider, but uh, they didn't reply. So I had to buy another model so that I could, could uh, program the brake. So I, I replaced it with here, this small little ESC, which seems to do the job very well. I've put uh, the battery, it's uh, 850 milliampere uh, hour battery, uh, completely in the front of the glider. And um, with that uh, battery and the, the servos on the back, in the back it uh, balances perfectly. The wing is uh, fixed with two screws. Unfortunately, the back screw is not long enough, so you have to replace it with a, a longer one. Which is a bit of pity to make that type of mistakes in the kits. I installed um, a FreeSky uh, receiver under the wing here. It's a very small receiver with um, built-in var Vario. Um, I used it for a while and works really well. I decided to, to uh, gap all the hinges on the glider. I don't know if this will make a big difference on those foamy gliders, but it should uh, increase the um, efficiency of the wing 
less turbulence around it and less friction. You can see that I did the same with uh, the rudder and the, um, the elevator. So I gapped all the the hinges. The um, all up weight from the glider is um, 300, 343 grams, including the um, bat 45 gram battery. So um, I'm happy with that weight. Um, I hope for 330, but um, I think it's okay. I also forgot to mention that I replaced the um, original very cheap uh, plastic um, servos with uh, quality servos. Um, I think it's a uh, five, five or six gram servos that I used. So this was a quick description of my U-Glider. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can put them below. I will try to answer. I have not made it yet, but uh, as soon as the weather conditions allow it, I will do it. I will try to make some footage and uh, put also the link below.